I had the most interesting day. I had been considering using my Cal Digit display port for my external monitor to my iMac. I kept buying cable after cable and none of them worked. Then one day I decided to do a little research and I found out that there is a difference between a passive and active display port. As you can see here, I was actually using the Apple dongle to get my monitor to work. But then I found this nifty device. Active display port to HDMI adapter by none other than Cal Digit. So if your device supports dual mode display, you can use a passive adapter because the source can perform the conversion. If the source does not support DP++, then you need to use an active converter or adapter, which includes these different kind of chips to make this work. So I just got this in the mail yesterday. I'm gonna open it today, and I am really expecting great things to happen. As you can see, I had to get out the scissors because uh, this must be a pretty nifty device. I couldn't just yank it open. Passive adapters are definitely less expensive since they do not need to include additional chips. But this adapter I'm about to open, it has the additional chips in it to make this conversion possible. And the conversion, this chip, is actually inside this adapter. So if you want to use multiple monitors with the same computer, you should use an active adapter because some video cards cannot run the maximum number of monitors while using DP++. So I am really, really expecting this thing to work. Here we go. As you can see, I have the Apple dongle plugged up. I'm showing you that there's my iMac on the left and then I have this additional monitor. So I just unplugged the monitor from the Apple dongle. And now I'm going to attach my HDMI cord to the Cal Digit and then the Cal Digit and the Cal Digit active dongle into the Cal Digit display. And it blinked. So voila, it's all done, finished.